Hi! Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a solo road trip. I'm very excited. I'm also very nervous. Also, I don't have any coffee cups in my apartment. I'm really trying to get the Crate and Barrel ones, so this is kind of what we're left with. Today we are road tripping to Iowa. We're going to St. Charles, Iowa for Hinterland 2023. I'm very excited. I'm also very nervous because I'm doing this drive by myself. I went to Hinterland last year and I had so much fun at it. However, I did camp it last year and I camped it during a heat wave. As fun as those memories are, I'm definitely an AC girl. I'm going to a hotel this year as well as I'm really only going one day of the festival. I'm going for Sunday. Today is Saturday. It's right now about 8 30 in the morning i've been up for a few hours just packing and cleaning my apartment and then i'm gonna leave so that i can check into my hotel i do already have a problem with my tickets i went to open my package with what was supposed to be my car parking pass as well as my wristband neither of them were in it i looked and the package had like a rip in the package itself and so contacted their help i emailed them i dm'd them on instagram and they said to just go to the box office and they said that they like kind of wrote down what happened to me and that I should be good just to get a replacement. I'm probably gonna have to pay a replacement fee which is annoying because earlier this week I was kind of thinking about just bailing out on this road trip but I think it's gonna be really good for me. I actually just got my first ever big girl job and I start literally right when I get back from this road trip so this is kind of like my last hurrah for this summer not really sadly this year hinterland and Lollapalooza are on the same weekend which is why i'm not at Lollapalooza. last year i did Lollapalooza and then hinterland back to back this year i didn't even try and check the dates before i bought my pass for hinterland on sunday because i really want to see Delwater gap and wallows i had just bought the one day pass because i was like you know what like i'll just go to Lollapalooza for the full weekend and then i'll just do hinterland for this one day they're the same weekend I really set myself up for failure with that one. My sister is right now in Chicago at Lollapalooza. They sent me videos from Sabrina set and Declan McKenna set, which I'm not gonna lie. I've heard some things about this Lala weekend, which makes me very happy that I didn't go. If you've watched my videos when I posted throughout high school, I've said this once, I'll say it a hundred times. Chicago is like my second home. I haven't been to Chicago in a year now, and I feel like I just have to go once a year just to walk around the city and feel like I'm one with the city. And I don't know, Chicago is like my safe space. This is a this hinterland is a road trip. I don't know why I'm ranting about Chicago. I'm gonna get ready and do my makeup. I need to pack up my car, clean out my car a little bit, and then we're probably gonna get on the road. Let's go do my makeup. It is 8.48. It's about 9 o'clock. I am kind of hoping to get on the road around 10, which is probably super early. I am not only just driving to my hotel, I also have to drive the extra, I think it's like 20 or 30 minutes to the festival to go to the box office. I'm kind of thinking what I'm going to do is just start the drive, see how far I can get. If I need to stop and take a break, I'll probably have to go to a gas station anyways. Instead of just stopping at the hotel and checking in first, I'm going to drive all the way down to the box office, get my wristband, and everything set up so that I'm just good to go uh, tomorrow. Holy shit, that's crazy. And then I'll go back to the hotel and check in at the hotel. I'm just kind of hoping to have a nice relaxing night at the hotel. I have thought about trying to see if I could buy someone's wristband off of them because tonight is Noah Khan and don't even get me started. When the Hinterland like lineup came out, I had just started listening to Noah. So that would have been like what, January, February? And now he's blowing up and this probably would have been the best scenario to see him because I know he was at Lala and my sister and Gus said that he was at the Tito stage, I believe, which if you've been to Lala in the park, it's the one right next to Bud Light and it was not a good stage for him to be at. He should have been, or not, yeah, the Bud Light stage, sorry. He should have been at the Bud Light stage because he had so many people there for him. The one thing that I do love about Hinterland is it's such a good atmosphere of people and it's older people, it's younger people and they're all very kind and it's 
not just people standing next to a stage. There's this big hill that a lot of people sit on and I don't know. I kind of wish I had tickets to see him tonight because I don't know when I'm going to see him. Anyways, I'm going to finish packing up my stuff and then clean up my apartment and I will see you when we are in the car. It's literally 9.13 but I think I might just leave now because I do kind of want to do like a stop a little bit in the middle of my drive. I think this is going to be the start of the road trip. I got my water. I do know that I'm going to want to make a stop to get like a bubbler or something. Oh my goodness, not that bright, Jesus. We are about 40 minutes away from the festival. I just stopped to get gas and a Red Bull. I got a watermelon Red Bull because I really needed one. I'm gonna get back to it. <sighs> I'm over this. The road trip was fun and now it's not. I'm at the festival right now. Not that I'm actually going in. The wristbands this year are kind of cool because they're actually like scanny ones. I had to go to the box office because mine was not in my package in the mail when it got sent out so got that taken care of and now we are gonna go to the hotel i'm like kind of shaky because i need food so i'm really hoping that there is like a mcdonald's on the way i don't know why but there has not been a single fucking mcdonald's on like my whole drive no con is tonight and i didn't see many people with one day passes to be like can i buy it off of you i also am so over driving this car's parking right next to me <laughs> filming a clip that I literally just filmed because there is a high chance that you couldn't hear me in the last clip because the AC was on the entire time and it literally just shut off. I'm at the hotel as you can tell. I did not vlog when I got here. I've been kind of dealing with just a lot of mental health things and when I got here I had a really bad anxiety attack and so for the first couple of hours of me being here i was unwinding from the drive as well as just like doom scrolling on my phone but i found that there was a barnes and noble five minutes away from me so i got some books i'm kind of in a book slump i've been in and out of a book slump for probably the last like two months i went in there because i was trying to find books on like anxiety and dealing with anxiety and things like that it was a really cool barnes it was two stories but they didn't really have any books like that. I did find this book which is All About Love by Bell Hooks. I read the first few pages and it seems like a very like beautiful written story. It is non-fiction and I oddly enough had put this in my want to read on Goodreads back in 2021 back when I was reading a lot of these types of books and I'm excited to get around to it. I think I might open this tonight just because I'm right now reading For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. I would show you it but it's literally what you're balanced on. I just can't get into fictional stories so so maybe nonfiction will kind of get me interested in reading and getting off my phone because dear god do I need to get off my phone. I also got Killer Instinct which is the second book of the Natural series. The first Naturals book was really fast for me to read. I filmed a whole reading vlog on it. Maybe I'll start this tonight. I really had no reason to go buy these books but it gave me something to do and something to focus my mind on. But yeah and then I got Chick-fil-A. I came back to the hotel. I'm probably just gonna read the rest of the night. I did bring my journal so after this clip I'm probably gonna journal for a little bit but I won't bore you with that. I will see you in the morning when we are getting ready for Hinterland Day 3, for me day 1. <laughs>
dumped on by rain. So, uh, and I have also not seen a festival crowd that has been smiling so much in a while. So, it's funny how that works, you know?
I am back from Hinterland. Sorry, the camera is lopsided. I'm working on pillows. I also have eyeliner all over my face. That is so fun. I just made myself a late night snack. I had so much fun today. I didn't get a lot of footage. I kind of just got random B-roll footage and clips of performances that I was watching. It was raining pretty much. The second I got in the festival, which the doors or the gates opened at 11, got to the single day parking at like 11.10, took the shuttle to the festival. I got merch. And the second I was in the merch line, I had to put on my poncho because it was raining, it was sprinkling during Dale Water Gap. It was a downpour. I was sitting by myself. One thing that I love about Hinterland compared to other festivals that you might go to is Hinterland is very just friendly. Everyone is looking out for each other and it's genuinely something that I don't think I've ever experienced really outside of Hinterland. It is a beautiful space. A lot of families go together. I kind of went into the festival with the mindset of I've been struggling doing things on my own I just want to go to this festival and I just want to hang out by myself have a good day go back to my hotel go to sleep and drive home so I was doing that I was just watching the sets these girls came up to me and they started a conversation because me and this one girl we were wearing the same um, dress which I don't even think I got a single outfit picture which is really sad they invited me to sit by them for the rest of the event or the rest of the day I guess and then one of my old co-workers she came up to me and it was really nice to catch up with her. The second Wallows ended their set, which by the way, Dylan's new girlfriend was at the Wallows set. I watched her walk backstage with him right before they got on stage. I'm so sorry if the lighting is really bad. But yeah, the second Wallows set was done. It was gonna start raining again. I did not want to be drenched on. Maggie Rogers was the closing act and I do like Maggie Rogers music, but I just, I had such a long day and I was just ready to shower and lay in bed. I love Thank God I did because I think a lot of other people had the same idea as me that Wallows was their last set that they were going to see because the rain was coming in. Took the shuttle back to my car, drove back to the hotel, and now we're here. That's enough of my after festival debrief. I'm gonna eat these noodles and dissociate. Hinterland is a great place to dissociate and people watch. I was doing that for a good part of my day today. Hi! It is right now 7.47. I'm so tired. I left the hotel super early. I got actually pretty decent night's sleep last night, but I'm excited. I was calling it four brew yesterday. It's seven brew and it's breve is what they serve. I got the seven something. All I know is it's Irish cream and white chocolate. And as much as I just wanted Starbucks, I needed to try something new. That slays, that is bomb. Damn it, and there's none in Minnesota. I'm so glad I'm just spilling breakfast burrito everywhere. Goodbye.